In this video, I'll be covering how to use, design, and assign dashboards in Hot Gwims. A dashboard is simply a report that's placed on your opening screen and allows you to create shortcuts to certain parts of the program so you don't have to go through the menu to find them. In this case, I primarily use these two data entry forms, so I want them on my dashboard. I don't want to have to go to Data Manager and click through and see maybe the 30 forms that I have. I can just quickly get to my operator log now by just clicking on the button and it brings up my operator log form and I can scroll through the data. Can exit that form and I'm returned to the dashboard. So the dashboard's always displayed on the main screen with the main menu. Again, you can create shortcuts to input data, to reports, to graphs, to certain other parts of the program such as LabCal or BOD Manager. And also, we allow you to bring up data into the dashboard. So in this case, I wanted to show some key performance indicators for my plant, influent flow, FDEM ratio, SRT, effluent TSS. Shows me the min, max, and average for the last 30 days on this particular dashboard. I've got this button here set up that it'll bring up a quick trend for me. So these are the things that I want to look at on a daily basis or at a glance. I don't want to have to go design a new graph to do it. I don't want to have to go find that report. I just want to see it at a glance. If I want to design a dashboard, a dashboard is actually a spread report. So I'm going to go to Design Spread Reports. It brings up our spreadsheet report editor. In this case, I'm going to use the wizard to start this dashboard. So I go ahead and hit the lightning bolt click next and when I go to choose report type here at the bottom is dashboard click next and it first says okay what data entry forms do you want on your dashboard so I'm gonna say I want uh, daily data entry I want my TSS bench sheet I want my aeration system review let's say so again I'm just gonna pick from all the forms that I want or that I have in my system, in this case four that I want to place on my dashboard that I use on a very routine basis. Click Next. It then says what spread reports do you want shortcuts to. I'm going to go ahead and say I want to create a shortcut to my net DMR monthly and my monthly report number one. These are the two reports I'm interested in. Click Next. Now it says, what do you want to summarize as KPIs? I'm going to go ahead and click Add, and it brings up my variable browser. So I can say, well, I want one of my KPIs as Influent Flow. I can click on it and click Add. I can say TSS, Mixed Liquor Suspended Solids, and I'm going to go with Effluent TSS also. Click Add. When I'm done adding KPIs, I click Close. I can do four, I can do one, I can do up to 10 or 20 of them if that's what I want to look at. Go ahead and click Next. It's going to say, what graphs do you want? So I'm having trouble with my ammonia compliance. So I want to bring that graph over. I want to see my BOD. And again, Effluent TSS, let's say. Go ahead and click Next again. And now Finish. And my template or my dashboard is going to be built for me. Okay. Now, I can create or I can edit this dashboard in any way I want. I could add more stuff. So let's add a button. I'm going to create a link to another dashboard. Okay. So what I do now is I go to Locate Dashboard Element. And I can do a button that's going to be a shortcut to other parts of the program. If I want to create a bunch of buttons to, let's say, other reports, I can use this. And then we also allow you to place gauges on the dashboard so that you can see data in a graphical or on a gauge. I'm going to go ahead and click button here. I'm going to pull down my menu item. And I'm going to choose Open Dashboard. So there should be one in here that allows me to open up a different dashboard. Right here. Then it says which dashboard or which report do you want to open as a dashboard. So I click the three dots. I go up here and just type in Dashboard. 
and I want to get my KPI dashboard with the, my gauges on it. So I'm going to link to that dashboard. Click OK, and I'm going to say uh, KPI gauges. And I want to run that part of it for, uh, let's say, the current month. Okay, I can set colors and draw pictures and do other things with the button. For right now, this looks okay. So when I'm done with my dashboard, I'm going to save it, just like any other report. I'm going to give it a name, and let's call it uh, Dash1. I'm going to put it into a group. I have a group called Dashboard, so that's going to make it easier to find. I go ahead and click OK. Now, once I've designed a dashboard, I still have the existing one that I had. So now what I want to do is assign it, or I want to use it as my dashboard. And I can do this in a couple of ways. One is if I go to Preferences, My Preferences, I can scroll down. And right here, I'm in my wastewater tutorial database. It asks for each database that I have. It allows me to assign it. So I click this button right here across from the database that I'm working on. And in here, I'm going to go browse to my uh, dashboard dash one right here that I just designed with the wizard and click save. I can also go to system setup, system tables, this facility, facility setup go to settings and here on settings I get to set the default dashboard. So what this does is for all users that don't haven't picked a dashboard from themselves this is the one they're going to get. Okay so again I hit the three dots go to dashboard and I can say dash one is my new dashboard. Okay now I'm gonna exit the program and when I rerun the program I'll get my new dashboard. So I go to file exit now I'm going to log back into WIMS. I'm going to choose my database, Wastewater Tutor. Click OK. And now I'm using my new dashboard. I can click on my KPI gauges, and it'll bring up a dashboard that shows my key performance indicators as gauges and gives me the ability to again quickly trend that data with the button here on top it shows me the average for this date range and um, the other thing about dashboards is we do have the ability to maneuver between them so if I want to go back to my home dashboard or click back I can use these buttons much like they work in Internet Explorer if I go home I go back to my home page I can now navigate back so, dashboards are used uh, to make your life easier so you don't have to navigate the whole system. And so also that you can see your process or your compliance at a glance by just looking at your key performance indicators. Thank you.